Hey y'all, Michelle Chapman here, and today I'm going to talk to you about apple cider vinegar. So we're going to talk about some of the pros and the cons, and maybe a myth. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button below so you can never miss any of my keto-related content. So, apple cider vinegar. So I get a lot of questions about apple cider vinegar. Why I drink it. What it is. Brags. See all that good stuff on the bottom? That would be the mother. So, shake it up real good before you put any in your um, water. Gotta make sure you get all the mother mixed in. But this is what we're going to be talking about pretty much. So, some people love it like me some people hate it probably like you if you've tried it you know you're making that face um it's i guess you would say an acquired taste but um i guess when i had my goal in mind and i was doing my research for keto in weight loss in general keto general health i was looking at every possible aspect anything that could add to my goal, that could push me further towards my goal, I was willing to do it. And see, I think that's what it comes down to, is just your willingness. Um, you may not like it. It may be so pungent and repulsive to you that you just can't do it no matter what you do to it. That's fine. That's fine. It it's not written anywhere that says that you have to drink it so it's a choice um, so I'm gonna go through uh, five um, different points on apple cider vinegar um, you may choose to uh, you know look into it more if you're interested but you think I don't cover everything well enough so number one it's going to eat through your esophagus, and it's going to eat all your teeth away. It's so acidic. Yes, it is. It has acetic acid in it. It is acidic. If it's diluted in water, it's safe. So in the morning, I take two tablespoons. I dilute it in 24 ounces of water with some ice. That's what I take to the gym with me. I drink that while I sit in the sauna. I take two more tablespoons just before I eat my dinner. I put it in eight ounces of water with some lemon juice, sucked it down really quickly. I still have all my teeth and my esophagus and nothing is eaten away. And I've been doing this for years, years. So safe, as long as you're not taking shots of it by itself because yes that is acidic and it can damage your teeth and gums and whatnot now if you drink it in water and you have a feeling like um, that it's still gonna be detrimental brush your teeth afterwards gargle with some water drink some water you'll wash it away so that's my um, take on that one point two with drinking apple cider vinegar, it has been shown to increase satiety. So you are more satisfied. Um, it's not going to make you lose weight, but it produces a steadier glucose response and an increase, I guess, in your satisfaction after you're done eating. So. Um, it really has, a, it has, it's an aid for, um, glucose release. So there are studies, I didn't cite any of the studies in the, in this short little, um, blurb, but if you want to look them up, you are more than welcome to. Number three, of course I talked about mother. Uh, mother is a probiotic that's, um, in raw apple cider vinegar and a few teaspoons of that with your meal acts as a probiotic so it helps 
digest things. It aids the good bacteria. Um, number four, it helps lower your blood glucose levels. And there were studies done on this as well. Um, if you take it just before eating, um, it will uh, lower your blood glucose. And number five, it has a huge amount of polyphenols, um, which are plant-based antioxidant. This decreases free radicals, uh, which we know free radicals, they are aging. So the more free radicals you have, the faster you age. So this actually, the polyphenols are very high in this and help in anti-aging. Um, which in turn, you know, decreases your risk of disease because free radicals uh, damage other cells. So um, just for that alone is, you know, one of the reasons I do it. Um, it's an antiseptic. It's an antibacterial. It has all kinds of, um, you know, great uses besides just drinking it. But we're just talking about drinking it for health now. It's not going to help you lose weight. It's not a losing, lose weight product, but it can help with your insulin response, with your glucose release, with digestion, and all of those things are all connected. So you have to think of it in terms of that, you know. Um, of course, there are some bad things about it. It's highly acidic. It works alkaline in our body once we ingest it, but outside the body it is acidic. It can burn your skin. Um, I mean, don't use it around your eyes. Um, if you drink too much, you can actually decrease your potassium levels, but you would have to drink quite a bit of it. And I'm hoping that you're going to use your good sense and not be chugging this all day long. You don't need to. Small amounts, teaspoons before you eat, um, or a tablespoon in the morning should suffice. Um, it works for me. Uh, it can work for you too. Um, it, you know, works in optimizing fat loss and your, in your general health. Um, and we want to use every opportunity we have to increase health and to, you know, find ways of hacking our body and, and helping it out. So apple cider vinegar, I can't stress it enough. And in Whole Foods and places like that, Fresh Market, they sell these uh, different kinds of um, drinks that you can buy. This is Limeade check the labels because there's a couple of them that have high carbs. One is a grape juice mixture, which of course has sugar in it because it's got grapes. Um, and there's another one that's an apple cinnamon uh, that for some reason has quite a few carbs in it too. But there's, I think, four or five of these different kinds. Uh, there's a limeade, there's one with stevia that I really like. And they don't, they're not as harsh. So you can drink those in a day. So that was it, and um, that was awesome. Until next time, of course, I'm Michelle, and I'm working that keto life, trying to get that health and fitness and, you know. So if you have any questions or comments, please um, put them down in the comments section, and I hope you will subscribe. I am making a go of this and um, hope we can uh, do a lot more of these. Okay, thanks. See you guys later.